the northerners in their islands were disturbed, taken away in the fray. Not one stood before their hands from Keta, Kode, Karkamish, Arvad, Alasa. They were wasted. They set up a camp in one place in Amor. They desolated his people and his land like that which is not. They came with fire, prepared before them forward to Egypt. Their main support was Peleset, Thekel, Shekelesh, Denyen, and Weshesh. These lands were united, and they laid their hands upon the land as far as the circle of the earth. Their hearts were confident, full of their plans. King Ramses III, the king himself, he says, Hearken to me, all the land, gathered in one place, the court, the king's children, the butlers, the youth, all the young men who are in this land. Give your attention to my utterance, that you may know my plans for sustaining you alive that you may learn of the might of my father, Amon, creator of my beauty. His great might, victorious against every fallen foe beneath my feet. He decrees to me victory, and his hand is with me, so that every invader of my boundary is slain in my grasp. His chosen one, whom he found among hundreds of thousands, not a single man among them to rescue them from the nine bows. I surrounded her. I established her by my valiant might. When I arose like the sun as king over Egypt, I protected her. I expelled for her the nine bows. Now it happened through this God, the Lord of Gods, that I was prepared and armed to trap them like wild fowl. He furnished my strength and caused my plans to prosper. I went forth directing these marvelous things. I equipped my frontier in Zahi, prepared before them. The chiefs, the captain of infantry, the nobles, I caused to equip the harbour mouths like a strong wall with warships, galleys and barges. They were manned completely from bow to stern with valiant warriors bearing their arms, soldiers of all the choicest of Egypt, being like lions roaring upon the mountain tops. The charioteers were warriors and all good officers ready at hand. Their horses were quivering in their every limb, ready to crush the countries under their feet. I was the valiant Montu, stationed before them, that they might behold the hand-to-hand -hand fighting of my arms. I, King Ramses III, was made a far-striding hero, conscious of his might, valiant to lead his army in the day of battle. Those who reached my boundary, their seed is not. Their heart and their soul are finished forever and ever. As for those who had assembled before them on the sea, the full flame was in their front before the harbour mouths and a wall of metal upon the shore surrounded them. They were dragged, overturned and laid low upon the beach, slain and made heaps from stern to bow of their galleys, while all their things were cast upon the water. Then I turned back the waters in remembrance of Egypt. When they mentioned my name in their land, May it consume them, while I sit upon the throne of Herakte, and the serpent diadem is fixed upon my head like Ra. I permit not the countries to see the boundaries of Egypt. 
As for the nine bows, I have taken away their land and their boundaries, they are added to mine. Their chiefs and their people come to me with praise. I carried out the plans of the All Lord, the August Divine Father, Lord of the Gods. Their hands are for me the shield of my body, to ward off evil and misfortune from my limbs. The King, ruler of the Nine Bows, Lord of the Two Lands, Ramses III, given life, stability, satisfaction, like Ra, forever and ever.